Hi, I'm Dana. We're at the Garden of Gethsemane right here. Um, I just think this is a really cool place because you can just like picture Jesus um, crying here and just weeping and knowing like what's coming, his future. Um, and like you can just kind of see like all this around here and it's just such a cool atmosphere and you can really just picture everything that happens in the Bible right here. These are the stairs, the original stairs of the temple where Jesus might have been. You can see the arches over there. My name is John Michael Clark uh, and we're here at the Garden Tomb. Uh, this is potentially the spot where Jesus was uh, crucified. Uh, the guide says that with the, there's an eye over here and another eye up here. And that the fact that the crosses could have been down below. Uh, and this is the, the skull hill or Golgotha. Uh, and one of the things that stuck out to me was that the tour guide said, it doesn't matter if this is the place or not, the point is that the tomb is empty. And uh, that's been pretty impactful to think about uh, as this is one of the potential places Jesus was crucified. We are in Capernaum. Um, in front of us is the Sea of Galilee, and then here we have uh, the house of Peter. This would be the house in the story where they uh, lowered a man through the roof and had him healed by Jesus. Here at the Garden Tomb, it is so humbling and yet so glorious to realize He loves us and He cares for us. And for me, He cares for me enough that He was willing to go through all that what a blessing it is. I just thought that was a really cool experience to be able to walk down there and to see everything and to also understand that people are still searching, people are still looking for the city where it all began. So it's just a beautiful thing and a beautiful experience to go through. Go to the Israel trip whenever you can. We're standing at the southern end of the Western Wall. We've uh, just come through uh, the ancient sewers from the city of David up to this point. You can see over here the place where you kind of pop out of the ground. The stones you see over here uh, that are huge, weight you know, tens of tons, are at the bottom and they've been uh, cut uh, and slid into place uh, without mortar and they've been here for 2,000 years. All right, we are walking through a sewage tunnel uh, right under Jerusalem and the city of David. 